Wanna keep the wilds at bay? Pack yourself a musket and a pike. The shards are getting harder to find. Ceylonia's army only took the best, and the best of them trained on Trigger Hill. The Triggers believed they were nothing without their rifles. Nothing beats the feel of shooting a Ceylonian army carbine. Sometimes you had to take care to steady your shot. The triggers had clearance to modify their guns however they chose. Some felt the course was too easy, so the trigger spiced things up a bit. If you want to master the art of the firearm, then the place to go is Trigger Hill. Sometimes he had to shoot from the hip. He had to keep moving to avoid getting burned. His ears must be ringing after all that shooting. Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you 
wanted to survive something like that, we had to learn to adapt. stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Dusted off a good many secrets out here. Given scent of sulfur's dirt. Best to keep out of the You can 
cook those things, but you can't eat them. sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. Inhospitable as they come. saw in there the heart of the world, the heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. is thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Stink guys ever seen waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. And where there's one stink guy, there's always more. The 
cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. The kid don't shed any tears for him, though. Spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Never could ask for a song. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. They said the wild could never be tamed, if only they could see us now. Huh? Ever see a kid with a musket and a fire bellows? Bit of a disturbing sight. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. for you. I've asked a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. Finishing touches on the business end of that thing. War machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Points just don't get any sharper than that. Marshals learn to pack those shells full of fire. That's the way to make every shot count. Issued carbines in such fine shape. The inspiration, a forge can fashion anything. The city, 
Its riches nothing but fragments now. His bow's looking lean and mean like a prize fighter. Takes a careful touch to rattle those bones like that. A solid frame can put an extra sting in every slice. bed for all those bullets. Don't want that thing leaving your hands until you decide it's time. At least it won't get cold around here with that thing around. On the inside, a fire bellows ain't nothing like its more popular air spinning cousin. spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Welcome to Great Incinerator, home of the hottest wings east of Ceylonia. In all seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with peckers. Blast the things would swoop in and spread trash all around until we started using fire. Too bad we can't all fly. We couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. You'd almost think those peckers like getting cooked. Just cause you're fast don't mean you gotta be reckless.
City clean. We put all our trash in the radiant incinerator. The beggars that flock together were easy pickings. It's time for juice and squirts, they used to say.
The ranch was always looking for good help. There's always more squirts to go around. Well, the kid's gone and struck terror in the hearts of squirts everywhere. We could have a fine old cookout with that stuff. Too bad that's not the plan.
Huh? Huh? 